energy use on My Energy Portal to making energy wise decisions on saving energy. Our customers have been enjoying the benefits of smart meter technology. Our smart meter deployment began in August of 2014 and is now nearly completed. The technology is also providing us with a number of cost saving benefits. Our energy experts will explain how smart meter technology is putting people first. With AMI now, we have what is called the UIQ head-in system. This is UIQ, our head-in system, where we would access uh, uh, devices of concern, whether it's a customer concern or a potential tamper. And that basically is a software that we use to poll meters. We can check the meter reads instantaneously at any given time. We can see the customer's load, usage. We can help customers and system when they call in and have a question about their read or their bill. So all this is live time technology that we are able to use that we didn't have in the past. So in the past, we would have to actually roll a truck to go get another read for that customer in order to validate their read or validate their concern with their bill. With AMI, we no longer have to do that. We can pull that meter instantly over the air and, 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 and give that customer the answer that they're looking for. It's going to be 2764. As you know, that there's some inherent challenges with retrieving a read in the customer's property. Uh, some of those things include uh, lock gates, <laughs> bad dogs. With the AMI smart meter technology now, it has effectively eliminated those situations to where we can pull these meters over the air. We get these reads six times a day, um, so every four hours. Uh, we retrieve these reads and so we're able to get these reads every day for these customers and get them billed up to date on their scheduled meter read date. The gas meter is actually located behind the bushes. <laughs> so you kind of have to move the bushes around and hope that there's not a bee nest. Now that we uh, don't have to have as much uh, visibility out in the field, we're able to get the reads over the air. So we don't have as many meter readers out there getting into customers' yards and we don't have to deal with the, the inherent hazards with getting into these yards. So safety has definitely been a uh, priority for us for here. And so with AMI, it has taken away some of those hazards from us, from the meter readers for having to get into those yards. So safety has actually come up. The, the amount of incidences that we have has gone down to next to zero. At this point in time, AMI has been a, a definite contributing factor to that success story. Also, uh, the fact that we don't have as many trucks out on the road, um, it has a, a definitely been a benefit to our environment as well, to where um, the amount of vehicles at this point right now has been reduced by at least 50%. And the fact that we have less vehicles out on the road, um, it, it, that allows us to have a, a smaller a carbon footprint, also less maintenance. All of those add up to savings for CPS Energy and our customers. That's going to be 59.64. Pre-AMI, we used to rely on customers, employees, and periodic uh, inspections of meters in the field in order for us to find theft. Now with AMI, uh, smart meter technology, what we do is we're we get the, the alerts directly from AMI. The AMI meter, if it senses that there's a, a potential theft situation, that information is then sent over to our UIQ heading system, and at that point, uh, we are alerted. Anytime that there's a, there's a potential risk for uh, theft, they would come out on these events tab or events section. And as you can see here, there's a bunch of different events. Some of these are categorized into voltage issues. Some of them are theft issues. Yeah, I was standing in the back. I was wondering how you read my meter. Oh, I read your electric meter right through the fence. What'd you get? I got 50001. It's 1103. Good job. No meter readers lost their job uh, due to AMI. What we have done is we've effectively transitioned these employees into other roles, and, and successfully, I might add. Uh, we have individuals now that are no longer with meter reading that are working in substation. They're working in the gas department, picking up new jobs, new skills, new talents and they were able to use the work ethic that they had here in meter reading and apply it to those uh, new jobs, new roles that they're doing today.